What's up YouTube? This is Rich with Lifetime Shred and today I want to talk about vests. So a lot of riders out there rock impact vests or comp vests, whatever you want to call them. These are vests that are not Coast Guard approved or CGA. Um, I rocked these myself for a long time. I found ones with a buckle on it were better. Uh, I think my favorite was like a Mystic that had a single buckle on it. But the problem is with a lot of these vests these days, there's less and less with buckles. And the ones that don't, like they do stretch out over time. And I've had a few impact vests actually completely rip off my body uh, when landing. So, you know, I'm also getting a little older and really taking heart some of what Sean Murray said about wearing a CGA vest. Like I've done the breath test that he talks about with some of those impact vests, but specifically that Mystic one floated pretty well. But uh, about two years ago, I switched over to CGA for cable, which was nice because I didn't have to like try to hide my comp vest or anything. I could just wear it wherever. Um, and then also on boat. So with CGA though, there's not a lot of great options. Like a lot of the CGA vests are just kind of these standard $65, $75 Hyperlite, Liquid Force or whatever. And you know, they're segmented foam a little bit, but um, you know, there's not a lot of people that have really thought about like what a high-end CGA vest could be. And for a while, the last two years, I've been rocking a Ronex Capella vest. Um, which I like a lot, you know, fits good. It's got kind of like a three dimensional fit. Um, I don't know if that even makes sense. Like it's more segmented. So if it's around your body, it's also longer, which I like, uh, I have a longer torso and like the normal CJ vests, there's just like a gap. I don't know. I don't like how it looks or how it feels. Um, I've really liked the Capella vest, but in the last couple of years, uh, you know, Sean Murray just came out with his new vest on jet pilot. And then also, I've also always had my eye on the Watson CGA. I think that's another one that's been around a bit through a few iterations that people generally think of as a higher end CGA vest. So unfortunately with my Ronix vest, I do like it a lot, but the foam like on the bottom part, kind of the seams end up tearing out on the ones I've had. So I have like the black one, I think it's called like the coal or something. Um, and I already warrantied one once and got a replacement, but now I'm out of the return or the warranty policy might still hit up Ronix to see if they can help me out because um, I'm just a little over the year mark from the when I got my second one um, but yeah I'll kind of show you what's going on there right now so oh yeah I should say too in the quest to find a good vest I ordered uh, the Watson vest and the Murray vest but let's check out the Capella so getting into here you'll see like there's some fraying under here but I'm just gonna hold this for a sec But yeah, I've also got like seams coming undone, which is really too bad because I really like this vest. Yeah, if you're ever wondering what the foam is in there, it's kind of like a very normal foam. Um, but yeah, it's coming undone down here. Again, I'm going to see if Ronix might be able to help me out with that. But assuming that they don't because it's out of warranty. And I will say like I've had problems with this color. Um, but yeah, maybe I have been in one of these for about three years. But... It's uh, yeah, I had a gray one before. It was like a gray and blue one. And that one actually held up well. So I think this model, this color specifically has some problems. Cause like I said, this is the second time I've had this vest in about a year and a half, this exact color or replaced it once. And then this one's falling apart. Um, I mean, I might try stitching that up on my own as well, but a little bit of a disappointment when the vest costs 160 or whatever. So anyway, I want to make the video today to talk about or share like kind of like a fit of the other two vests as well as the Capella so you can look at that and compare and just some thoughts about them. So with that, let's get into the fits. All right, so this is the Capella. This is a large, I'm about 175 pounds and 5'11". Definitely have a little bit of a longer torso. I think my inseam's like 31. If it was specific age, right? Rock 32 in Simon jeans because you can't find 31s always. But yeah, this is the fit. Like it's it's nice. It's got this panel right here. You know, this is a different panel than the front and the back. That's what I was talking about with like that 3D fit. Um, it's also longer in the back. So you can see that. But I'll just do a slow spin so you can check it out. So. Yeah, 
felt very comfortable. Um, I like the length, but unfortunately not holding up as well as I hoped. So I'll get the next one. All right, so this is the Elf Watson. I do have the tags on here still because I'm not sure what I'm gonna end up keeping here. I think this one's actually really comfortable, possibly even more comfortable than the Capella, but I don't like the look quite as much, but it's pretty trim in the front for a Coast Guard. I don't love this ribbing thing in the back. Um, I like how the Capella is just kind of like, it almost looks like an impact vest from the back where this might definitely could tell it's CGA based on like that separation, but movement in this is pretty nice. But yeah, I'll just do a spin so you can check it out. Yeah, with this one compared to the Capella, the padding is definitely a little less thick up around the shoulders, but maybe like a little more significant down here, kind of hard to say. But yeah, it fits really good and it's still pretty long too. But yeah, let's grab the next one. Yeah, so this is Sean Murray's brand new vest that he just came out with. Um, do keep in mind this is gray and not black. So it might look a little chunkier color wise. Um, but I could have gone black, but I was thinking I might want to switch it up back to a lighter color. But yeah, getting that on. You know, Murray talked about how this one's longer than his past vest. It is longer, but I think it's still slightly shorter than the other two. Um, and it's kind of got like this extra inch down here of extra length. But anyway, let's show it off. So it's the front. The sides. This one also has kind of that like, yeah, like the sides are a different segment than the front and the back. But probably padding wise, I think this might be the thickest padding or about the same as the Capella and the Watson feels the thinnest. I don't know. I like it. You know, I really like Murray a lot. I like this little like patch detail. I mean, the vest feels good. It moves. Oh man, yeah, it's hard to say. I think these are all good options. Like you're not gonna go wrong with any of them. I think. I think the Watson probably fits the best. The Capella. I think. I think looks. Oh yeah. I'm, let's rank them. So, I think. Looks wise, I like the Capella the most, then the Murray, and then the Watson last. Fit wise, I would say the Watson's the best fit. These are all larges. Um, the Capella is probably, dude, that's hard to say. I don't know. I can't, I can't say if the Capella, I think the Capella and the Murray are kind of tied for second for fit. Um, see what else I feel like jet pilot there's just little things on the Ronix that are like missing like on the Murray here you've got like this seam on the bottom there's no seam on the bottom of the Ronix where it's like splitting up so I feel like quality wise I'm thinking the Murray's probably the best with the Watson close behind the Capella is probably the worst quality in terms of holding up um, I don't know what the liquid force or the jet pilot warranties are but that be some, might be something to think about i think the run-up is just one year um but yeah hopefully that's helpful if you're interested in the cga vest coming out of a comp vest or an impact vest and wanting something that's still like somewhat slim and good fitting but with the coast guard approval which i think could be really valuable what's up youtube so it's been about two weeks since i filmed the last video about this and I ended up taking the Watson out, taking the tags off and taking it for a ride. And I thought I was gonna like it a ton because of the fit, just the dry fit on land. And it ended up like the back of the vest, it's like jamming me in the back of the neck a little bit. Like it was too much going on, too much padding or something back there, foam. So Watson's out. Um, I think I'm gonna send back the Murray too. Maybe I should give it a try, but I just feel like the overall fit of it on land like it's just a little short for how I like it so I'm gonna stick with the Ronix Capella vest um, 
This one's a little bit shredded. I'll see if I can warranty it. If not, I might just sew it up on my own. Um, I'm not a great sewer, but I could give it a shot. It doesn't look like super complicated. So yeah, I'm gonna say it. Best Coast Guard vest out there right now is gonna be any of the Ronix Capella vests. Um, and the other two are pretty good as well. And everybody's different, you know, body shapes fit differently. For me, uh, I like the Capella the most. So anyway, Good luck riding out there. Hopefully you're having fun, being safe where you can. You know, you don't have to wear a Coast Guard vest. I think it's a good idea, but uh, you know, do whatever you want, it's your choice. With that said, uh, peace out. Have fun shredding.